Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Do the little dance. Come on. I know you watch my videos. Channel. If you're S Club, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't know, subscribe and then you might know. So today's video, we are gonna be testing out some brand spanking new viral, very popular makeup products, the ones that everybody wants to get their hands on. We've got some new Fenty Beauty, we've got some new YSL, Huda Beauty. Mmm, you know, you know that's a popular one. We can't forget. Bam! Wet n Wild, they came out with their new Zodiac collection. And this video is made in partnership with Wet n Wild, so a huge thank you to them for partnering with your girl. They know the S Club likes some great affordable makeup, and Wet n Wild's popping. So I'm very excited about this collaboration, and I can't wait to get started with the video. So we're gonna get right into it today. Today's look is gonna be for sure inspired by my sign. I am a Libra. Woo, look at that. I'm wearing my Libra necklace right now. Represent. Yay. I actually didn't mean to do that, but. <laughs> Perfect coincidence. I've just been super into astrology recently. I feel like you guys have picked up on that vibe in my videos I brought it up. And now that this whole collection has come out, I'm just very inspired to create a look that fits my sign and my element. I'm not gonna use all the products in the collection, but I'll briefly describe it before we get into the makeup look. It's being exclusively sold at Walmart, so you can buy it online, walmart.com, or any of the US Walmart stores. And it's also available at wetandwildbeauty.com. And also the whole collection is actually cruelty free along with the brand. So if that is important to you, I always like to mention that. And this is the whole collection. You got the eyeshadow palettes on this side, the highlighting bricks on this side, and they come in all of the four elements, air, earth, fire, and water. And then you've got the lip glosses all around in the center here. There's actually 12 lip glosses, one for each of the signs, and then there's a loose highlighter in the center. It's got all of the signs on that. I thought that was really cute. And let's get started now. I'm gonna use the products pertaining to my sign later in the video. So for primer, I've been wanting to try out the new Tarte Quench hydrating primer base. It's definitely one of the more popular newer primers. I feel like it's because it's a little bit different than what we normally see. It's got like this gel consistency. Now this is supposed to just immediately get absorbed into your skin, which I'm finding it is doing. It's not feeling like it's sitting on top and it really does feel super hydrating. I feel like my skin immediately looks glowy. And it also has really good for your skin ingredients like antioxidants, probiotics, and the amino acids, which is supposed to help with the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Don't know that I can tell too much about that right now because it's a first impression, but I like that it has good for your ingredients. Tarte is usually really good about that with their products. They're very natural. And I like this. It just felt very refreshing to put on. But obviously with the primer, you just have to see how your makeup looks on top of it too because that's a huge part of it. But first impression, I really like it. Moving on to foundation, I bought the new YSL Stick Foundation. I feel like it's popular, YSL, expensive, luxury brand. There's also some controversy surrounding the shade range and all that, so I was like, oh, we gotta try this. Wait a second. Now I'm just realizing that this is not the Stick All Hours YSL foundation. Stop, I'm so upset. So the employee that was helping me out at Sephora definitely picked out the wrong product for me. And now I don't have the new stick foundation. That actually makes me so sad. I really wanted to review that one for you guys. This one, I guess it's like kind of relatively new. Maybe not, I don't know. We'll use it, we'll go for it. This is the YSL All Hours Foundation with SPF 20 in it. It's supposed to be up to 24 hour wear, flawless matte, full coverage, oil free. Honestly, it's speaking my language. Those are all the things that I normally look for in a foundation. But this just looks to be a little bit too light for me right now. I guess your girl got a tan. <laughs> but I'm hoping that we will be able to make it work you know, once we got the bronzer on and all that. So far, it's definitely very lightweight. It's supposed to be a natural matte finish, which I like. You never want a really drying, cakey looking matte. You always want it still to look pretty skin-like. Not supposed to cake, dry, flake, or fade for 24 hours, which is a huge claim. Honestly, the formula kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation right now. It has a really nice, subtle scent to it. It's not too strong, but it's just pleasant. Depending on how much you build it, you can definitely cover up problem areas. Areas. So, so far I'm really liking it. It just obviously would depend on how it wears. Let's check back in at the end of the video. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This isn't really a product that I'd wanted to spend a lot of time on in this video, just cause I've already talked about it a lot since it's come out. This one, I always say it's like shape tape coverage and flawlessness for your under eye, but it's much more hydrating and much more lightweight. And I feel like just more flattering overall. So now let's move on to brows. This one's a pretty popular one. It's the new Milk Makeup Kush fiber brow gel. I feel like milk makeup in general is very overhyped, you know? It's called Kush Fiber Brow Gel because it legitimately has cannabis oil inside of it that's supposed to help condition your brow hairs and make them more full and prevent the product from flaking. Can I eat this? Mm, just kidding. 
I got it in the shade Haze. Now this is meant to make your brows thicker and fuller. Oh no! I feel like I used way too much. That's my bad. Let me try and brush that out with a spoolie brush. So this is it applied on both of my brows. I think the hype is definitely around the fact that it has cannabis oil in it. Personally, I don't really reach for brow gels just because my brow hair is already so thick. If you have very sparse brow hairs and you do like using brow gels, then I think this is a good product. The fact that it does have some interesting ingredients that are supposed to be good for your brow hairs, I think it's worth giving it a try. I'm just gonna touch on my brows with my MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. This just gives me a little bit more precision and I'm gonna work on fixing my brow shape a little bit because it's really difficult to shape your brow with just a brow gel. So now that it's been a couple minutes, I'm gonna wipe away whatever creasing there might be on my under eye. That's just so we can lock everything into place with a setting powder and I have Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in Pound Cake. They come in a bunch of different shades. Packaging is fairly big and on the back you get a nice diagram on where to put the powder and how to use it. Let's bake the under eye there. So right off the bat, it's very finely milled and it smells like perfume. There's definitely a scent to it and it's quite strong, but I don't mind it. If you're sensitive to scents, you might want to be aware of that. Also use it just down the center T-zone area and I'll push that in the areas where I crease. We'll do the flash test at the very end of the video once all my makeup is done. Let's move on. Another hyped up product that we're going to try out is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. It has a little doe foot applicator. We'll use that and it seems to be very lightweight, watery kind of formula type primer. And I'm just gonna blend that in using my finger. So it went on kind of slimy, now it's getting a little more tacky. It is pretty transparent, I would say. And now let's get in there with some eyeshadow. So I have another Fenty Beauty product. This is the brand new Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. The packaging is absolutely to die for. It is beautiful. We love it. It matches the backdrop. We love it. And inside, you've got the classic diagonal kind of arrangement that she usually does. And there's some beautiful shades in there. There is. I don't think this palette is blowing me away with the shades, but they are really pretty. You've got a mix of mattes and shimmers and some very glittery shadows in there. So I'm excited about this one. So now I'm going to go in with Sahara Stunna. So I'm taking this just as a transition shade right above the crease. I'm going to flick that outwards and smoke it out. Now going in with Fez Up. I'm going to take this like deep plum shade. We're going to put it right on the outer corner and along the crease. And we're going to keep the lid space clear just so we can go back in with the other Wet n Wild eyeshadow compact and test that one too. So now I'm just going to clean it up a bit using some concealer so we can do a little cut crease moment. But for sure the matte shadows in that Fenty palette are bomb. I like how they applied. So I really like this palette. I say it's worth the hype. The formula is great. If you like the shades, I mean, why not? The shimmers are gorgeous as well and the mattes apply really nicely. You can see they're pigmented. They're blending into each other really easily and I like them. So now I feel like we're safe to dust off that baking powder under the eye there. It's dusting away really easily. It does look like it set my concealer really nicely and it's not looking extremely dry. Sometimes there's some powder that literally suck the life out of your under eye and all those fine lines are accentuated, but I feel like this one's not doing that. So if it passes the flash test, I feel like this is gonna be slowly approved for sure. Now that that powder is dusted away, let's bring those same crease shadows down to the lower lash line just to balance this out a bit. Let's go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette in Air. It's so beautiful and you got six shades in there that you can choose from. I'm gonna use the darkest shade in the palette. It's like this deep copper kind of bronze shade and we're gonna apply that right on the outer corner. Ooh, beautiful. Do you see the shine on that? Wow. Definitely very, very pigmented. Now going in with this lighter purple shade, we're gonna tap that on right next to what we just did. And we're gonna do a little ombre effect going to the inner corner. Oh, this one's beautiful. It's got a lot of glitter in it. I love that. Whoa. I'm gonna bring that pretty far in, almost to the inner corner, but not quite. We're gonna leave room for one more shade. So now I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade in the palette. Spritz my brush, get it extra metallic, and we're gonna use that as an inner corner highlight. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna bring that just on the inner corner of my lid as well and blend it into the gold. Next up, let's test out this super hyped up eyeliner. It is the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. Wow, I'm barely having to push down and the product is just gliding right out. It's a really saturated tip, like there's a lot of product on there. So both wings are on, it's super jet black. It's very comfortable to hold because of the shape it's a triangle shape. It is like a shiny black, however, and I kind of prefer a matte black eyeliner. It's also supposed to be water resistant, transfer proof, won't move until you want it to type of product, so I like that. For mascara, I have the brand new one from Hourglass. It's called Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. It's got pretty short bristles and then it tapers off at the end there. Very easy to get right at the root
glue to my lash because the wand is not super massive and it seems to be combing through all my lash hairs really nicely. It's also easy to get on the inner corner because of the way the wand tapers. Ooh, I like that for the lower lashes. The size of the wand is perfect. It just makes it very easy to use. Wow, my lower lashes look crazy. I love that. I think this is definitely more of a lengthening mascara than a super volumizing one. So eyes are completely done. I just threw on some lashes off camera. Let's move on to the rest of the face. So I don't have like a super viral hyped up product for bronzer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in rich amber. I've been really, really liking this one for the last little while. And also just on the perimeter of my forehead, around my hairline. And same for blush. I don't have anything crazy viral, hyped up, brand new. So I'm just gonna go in with this Chanel powder blush in the shade 55 in love. I love the formula of this blush. It's very, very soft, very subtle. It has the tiniest sheen to it and it's just so pretty. It's like all I've been wearing. It's perfect for summer. Love it. Now for highlight, I'm gonna use another product from the Wet n Wild Zodiac Collection. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Bar in Air. Obviously my element, so we're gonna use this one. Apply that right on my cheekbone. Oh my gosh. Are you seeing this right now? Ooh. And we've got pigment for days. Wow, loving that. So it has a really smooth formula and it gives you that beautiful strobing highlight effect to give us that really nice glow. Great formula, great price, and I mean, it speaks for itself. Look at my face, I'm glowing. Next up, I do wanna try the Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder from the collection as well. It's a shimmering loose highlighting powder that's meant to be used for your face or your body. Now we've already got a glow on my face. Woo, so let's apply it on my body. That is so, so pretty. This has a buildable formula, so depending on how much shine you want, you know, you can do one light layer like that, or you can do a lot of layers like that. And no matter what, it just blends really, really easily and seamlessly into your skin. Ooh, look at that collarbone popping. Poppin'. Last but not least is Lips Libra Lip Gloss from the Wet n Wild Zodiac Collection. It's got a nice long doe foot applicator, which I really like for lip glosses. <gasps> that is so pretty. It's got like this mirror-like shine and it's super, super pigmented. Do you see all that glitter? Ooh, that shine, honey. All right, you guys, so this completes the final look. For the most part, I feel like a lot of the makeup products were worth the hype. I also took some flash pictures. There's absolutely no flashback. I was worried about the foundation with the SPF in it, and I was also worried about the Huda Beauty setting powder just because those are hard to nail without getting a cast of like ghostly powder in pictures. But the makeup looks bomb with flash photography as well. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe before you leave. You watch this whole video, subscribe, honey. You don't want to leave without subscribing. Then check out these other videos of mine if you want to keep on watching me and I really hope you do. All you got to do is just click one of those videos and you'll start the marathon. I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Bye.